Good evening, everyone. My name is Andy. Tonight, I'll be talking about my journey from when I was a teenager who didn't know what he wanted to do with his life to becoming a successful outdoor instructor. When I was a young teenager, I found school a bit of a challenge and I struggled in my lessons. I wasn't very good at certain subjects and would easily distract myself away from the important things. I wasn't very social outside of school and this led to me being an outsider with only a handful of friends. My mum thought it would be good for me to join an activity group outside of school to make new friends and do new things. I found out about a local youth club and decided to go along. I was loving it. I was doing things I had never done before, like taking part in football competitions, table tennis, and we even got to try out kayaking and climbing, which is what I loved most. This inspired me to, do, to join a local kayak and canoe club, where I wanted to learn everything about paddle sports. This set the ball rolling and gave me a passion for the outdoors. Through this, through this club, I was given the opportunity to volunteer at the 2012 Olympics, running taster sessions on Weymouth Beach for the public. I met Ben Ainsley there, an Olympic gold medalist, who personally praised us for the work we were doing in Weymouth. That gave me a massive sense of pride, and for the first time in my life, I felt as though I had achieved something. After I passed my GCSEs, I didn't know what career I wanted to pursue. It didn't occur to me at first that outdoor instructing was an option. I tried for the army, but my heart wasn't really set into it. So I was stuck in a limbo. I also tried going to college to train as a mechanic, and although I enjoyed it, part of me didn't want to be stuck in one place where I can day in, day out doing the same thing. Whilst all this was going on, I was stuck working on building sites, labouring. I wasn't enjoying working so hard for such little reward, and I definitely didn't want to spend the rest of my life in a dead-end job with no ambition to move on. When I was out paddling one evening with my club, I bumped into Matt. He was a volunteer coach and I got on really well with him. While out on a trip, I asked what job he did. He was telling me all about outdoor work and the more he was saying about it, the more I wanted to do it. It just so happens that he worked with Young Bristol. I asked if I could be an outdoor instructor and that's where he set me up on the instructor training scheme with Young Bristol. It was good to be back and even better to think that one day I might be part of their actual instructor team. I joined the instructor scheme when it first started over four years ago and though, it have ga and though and through it I have gained experience in lots of various activities in the outdoor industry. And we went on some incredible residential trips which I would never have even dreamed about doing and I did things such as upsailing down waterfalls in Wales. The training scheme also gave me the necessary qualifications I needed to become a successful outdoor instructor, like my kayak level one, high ropes, bushcraft and archery, to name just a few. As a result of getting involved with the scheme, I signed up and joined the YB team for the 100 mile canoe test. It was a new challenge for me and one I would never have thought possible. It made me realise how much I could push myself and still enjoy it at the same time. I came out of it a stronger paddler and a stronger person mentally. I will never forget the feeling of crossing the, fili the finish line. It was unbelievable. At the end of which, I got a certificate and a medal to put on my wall. I started volunteering for YB on their outdoor sessions to gain the experience I needed for future employment. I then got offered a job at Young Bristol as a trainee instructor delivering kayak sessions, raft build sessions, and working their high ropes courses. I've been working with them over the past three years and I am now a senior rescue trained instructor on the SS Great Britain's High Ropes course Go Aloft, which is run by Young Bristol. Thank you. The course involves participants climbing the rigging to a height of 60 foot, then challenging themselves to step out onto the yard arm. There is nothing more rewarding than watching participants, young and old, push themselves to overcome an obstacle or to overcome their th fear of heights. As a result of the experience and qualifications I gained through Young Bristol, I was able to secure a job over the past two summer seasons. 
I have been working with the Bushcraft Company in Dorset and Oxford as a freelance instructor, teaching kayaking, rock climbing, bushcraft and archery. This year I was promoted to a role of senior instructor, which left me in charge of up to 40 children. Thank you. During this time, I was living away from home and used certain skills that I got through Young Bristol on their residential trips, not to mention all the lifelong memories and friends I have made along the way. For example, learning how to budget food for a week-long trip to being able to talk to people I haven't met before comfortably and confidently. At the start of this year, I helped out on the National Citizen Service Programme, where I took on roles at the outdoor activities and used my experience of cooking and catered for 40 plus young children over the programme. A lot of outdoor work is seasonal, which is why this winter I have made the decision to move to New Zealand to set myself new challenges and pursue my love for the outdoors. I will use this opportunity to travel around the North and South Islands working in various outdoor centres as I go, hopefully learning new skills and gaining new qualifications as my experience grows. I plan on staying there permanently and that dream is becoming a reality in just a few weeks time. All with thanks to the efforts of young Bristol who made me feel confident in my abilities and welcomed me into their family and helped and encouraged me through thick and thin to go that extra mile. Thank you everyone, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much Andy. It's people like you who make this all worthwhile.